Instagrams might look the same, whether it's frequency, relative frequency, or density, but what it means changes completely. Let's see how I'm using R. I'll use the classic empty cars dataset and plot miles per gallon. This is a frequency histogram. The y-axis shows the counts of cars in each interval on the x-axis. To see proportions instead of counts, we make a relative frequency histogram. Here, the height represents the fraction of cars in each bin. If bins are all equal widths, the total of all the bar heights add up to one. Density histograms, on the other hand, rescale the bars so that the total area, not height, under the bars equal one. When the bin widths are equal, it'll look nearly identical to a relative frequency, just with slightly different y-axis scale. But when bin widths are unequal, only the density histogram correctly preserves the probabilities. You can also superimpose a smooth probability curve, for example, a normal curve on a density histogram. If the data are approximately normal, you can then apply the empirical rule to interpret the spread. Now, let me let, know your thoughts. For consultation, my contact information is in the description.